communication in animal behavior. Communication is when one animal transmits information to another animal causing some kind of change in the animal that gets the information. Communication is usually between animals of the same species but it can also happen between two animals of the different species. Communication behavior are critical to the survival and reproductive success of animal. Animal has several types of communication behavior. Key concept animal behavior Interaction between members of a species depend on both modes of communication. Communication signals hold clear meanings for both the sender and the receiver of signals. There are four types of animal communication, which are visual communication, auditory communication, tactile communication, and chemical communication. Let's start with visual communication or known as vision communication. There are two types of visual communication. The first type of visual communication is the color and shape of the animal itself. This is called the badge. The second type of visual communication describes the things that the animal does to communicate, including behavior. This is called the display. Look at the deep sea jellyfish, for example. It communicates by giving a stunning display of colors. The Australian frill-necked lizard is another example. When it's frightened, it opens its mouth and unfolds its frill. This makes the lizard look large to its predators. Next is auditory communication or not a sound communication. Auditory communication refers to hearing and describes the sounds that animals use to talk to each other. Sound is good because it can travel over long distances, whether it be day or night. It's an adaptable signal, meaning animals can change the volume of the sound depending on the conditions. For example, they may not wish to be located by any predators nearby. Sound can be used to warn about danger or to tell other animals that they are angry, like the loud bark of a guard dog signaling that it is angry. And you should stay away, otherwise you may get hurt. Tactile means to touch. Communicating using touch is used in many different ways in the animal kingdom. This mother cat nuzzles her kittens to comfort them. Or these two male deers lock horns and fight to show which is dominant. Lastly, chemical communication as pheromone communication. Animals can communicate chemically through scent and taste. The scents can remain around long after the animal that left it there has moved on. This can be used as a danger warning, signalling other animals to keep them away. Insects like these ants that live in large groups leave different types of smells for different messages, whether it can lead them to a food source or asking for help. Conclusion, animals do communicate with involved information transfer from the sender to a receiver. They can convey their needs, desire and relation to the environment via sophisticated signaling of their own. No animal have however involved the sophistication of the human language which is communication system. The understanding of animal communication is essential for understanding the animal world in general.